What is the significance of the Western Cape for the rest of the country? Well, a great result here, as I've said, will ensure that we are able to make sure that our national vote share is increased. So that's why it's very, very important that voters turn out in large numbers. They must not be complacent. If you're in the Western Cape and you're saying, well, I'm happy, we've got jobs, we've got all these things, these things are not there by accident. They're there because you voted and trusted the DA to give you a, to, and gave us a majority here, and we're repaying that trust by making sure that we deliver clean audits, decent public health care, good schooling outcomes, jobs, uh, crime uh, down 14% year on year on priority crimes. These are all the things that we are delivering because you've trusted us with your vote. We need to send the message now that not only are we going to grow here in the Western Cape, but we're going to use your growth here in the Western Cape to help us go over the 50% plus one mark at a national level with the multi-party charter. Now, we initially took the Western Cape under coalition government led by Helen Zilla, and then later on governed the province outright. Can you tell us a bit more about this journey? Well, obviously coalitions are going to be a big feature next year. And a lot of people say, well, you know, coalitions are unstable. They don't work. They, you know, the ANC is desperately trying to paint coalitions as, as unworkable. But the story of the turnaround of the city of Cape Town and the province began with coalitions. It was the first step towards getting the ANC out and being able to form a DA majority. And it was only through that that we were able to, to gain control. We're involved in over 25 coalitions around the country. They bring good clean, accountable government to places as diverse as Richards Bay in KwaZulu-Natal and Saldana Bay in the Western Cape. We can use coalitions to be able to remove the ANC from office and then bring in a new government that's going to work for the people, not for the politicians. Now, John, why is it so important for residents in the Western Cape to register to vote? And is a ANC-EFF doomsday coalition potentially on the cards? Well, complacency will be the enemy of progress here in the Western Cape. And it's very, very easy for people to sit back and say, well, things are going well here. I don't really need to vote. There's not a sense of urgency like you have in the other provinces. And that would be a huge mistake because in politics, anything can happen. And by staying at home and not coming out, you open the door for a doomsday coalition of the ANC, the EFF, the Patriotic Alliance, Good, and various other parties who we've seen have thrown their lot in with the ANC and who propped them up in municipalities around the rest of this province. And that's why Nasna is today bankrupt. It's why all of the other municipalities, Tevatas Kluf, where these coalitions of corruption in are going backwards, not forwards, when everybody else in the Western Cape is moving forward. So don't end up in a situation like Nasna, like Tevatas Kluf in the Western Cape. Make sure you come out and vote so you give us a strong, solid, unassailable majority so that we can continue to delivering. We've got a record of action, we've got a promise of more. There's lots more to do and we look forward to doing it here in the Western Cape. Get help registering to vote at check.da.org.za. Register to rescue South Africa.